Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Woman, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, last episode we had a little troubles, we did get some of this built, uh, did get a little bit off of it, off camera built, but uh, we're having issues with water being melded in with our dirty stuff. So what I'm going to do today is we're just going to take these, um, we're going to take these fertilizer synthesizers and we're going to move them. We're just, we're going to straight up move them. Uh, because not only that is where our duplicates are getting hypothermia as they come in here because they get, they have to step on this nasty, nasty water. So what I'm thinking about doing is very, very clever. What I might do is just cancel these. Cancel all of this and this. And then build a wall, which I want to do this now. Build the wall up. So that na that way none of this... Uh, well, actually, just granite. I actually need granite. But uh, we'll be alright for now. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put the those two generators we'll put them over here there we go and with that said we as we do that we need to disable or deconstruct all of this pipe bitch here all of it all of it that water is fine and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a way probably come off of here uh, let's cancel that. Uh, come off of over here. And have, like, my synthesizer stuff up here. In an enclosed room. Uh, which, you know, probably connect up to this. So that way that it can pump all of the uh, extra natural gas down there. And, like, since I had this built over here, this, this caused no alarm over here. So we can actually cancel that. Cancel a lot of that. We want to get all of this built over here, like so. As you can see, up in the top left corner, our duplicates are doing decently well. Uh, I've been I've been tending to them, and it's only been you know one one or two cycles since last uh, last episode, so maybe a little bit more than that. But still, that that's not too bad. I mean. We're doing relatively good. And I was thinking about, because, you know, we can only go so high because of this area here, that we might just use that as a ceiling. Like, like this right here could be our ceiling. So just make use of that. You know what? We could bring this down, because this is going to bug me if I don't. There we go. And then just chop it off there. There we go. And then ventilation. Gas pump it there. And then hook everything up. Like so. And then we'll grab our refinement. And we'll have a bunch. We'll have a bunch of synthesizers here. I don't know. Maybe four. Uh, like we had down here. Four should be okay. For now. And if I need to expand, I have all of this space. All of this space here to expand it. So I do want to make sure that they have access to this room over here. Um, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe have, say, ladder up the middle. And then have this way they get up. That might work. And then have another synthesizer, say... No, I don't like the way that is. Uh, I guess that's a good thing about planning. So that way you can make sure you plan it all out correctly. Alright, grab another synthesizer. Nope, that's not a synthesizer. That is a metal refinery. Alright, synthesizer, space, synthesizer, space, synthesizer. And then gives it a little bit more room. I can cancel that. Put, like, airflow tiles, maybe? I guess that would work. I could. I probably could just leave it open for all that intensive purposes of that. Um, and then that way, all that... Uh, excuse me. All of that natural gas can get up to this pump. 
And I want to make sure that all this natural gas gets up here to this pump as well. So this is just going to be a massive, massive place for, you know, natural gas is pumped. And, uh, and I also noticed last uh, beginning of uh, the la last of last episode that this natural gas, is it getting power? Yeah, we have plenty of power. But it's not producing enough. I think we're, we're using a lot of it. So what I'm thinking about doing is actually setting... Probably set these on a date. Do they have automation? Please tell me they have automation. Yes, they do have automation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these up to be automated only to be on during the day. Um, do I have access to the clock? Uh, clock sensor, yes. So I want to put this, uh, say, hmm, right there. That works. And then I'll get the automation wire. Hook this up. And then come down. Come down the ladder, I guess. And then hook these up. I don't know. I actually don't know if it works that way. So I'll do it like this. There we go. So that way, these these generators will only run when, say, a, the batteries get low. I wish there was a way that you could set that up. Because there's no way to hook automation wires up to any of these batteries. So, like, say, when this gets low, you know, kick on the power. Because we're, we're producing more power than we know what to do with. These batteries are full. They've been full for a couple of cycles. And it's just, they're just continuing on, on, on. It's, where is that power going? I have no clue. So I think this, this would be a opportune time. Or even a switch. Actually, you know what? I could probably, well, no, then it would have to be, I would have to manually flip it on and off. As, as you can see, we're, we're using more natural gas than we know what to do with. So, yeah, that, that's, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, we want to make sure we're, we're really... Yeah, I know I said last episode or last couple episodes, you know, wasting is okay. But in this case, like, we're, we're having a lot of issues where we're using more, more natural gas than we need to. I may even get them to tap into this to, to tap in over here. Like, um, how would I could go in there? Go in there like this. And have like a gas pump, say there, and then build. Oh wait, I forgot. Is there germs? Oh, there is a little germs, not a lot. There are a few germs though. But if we come in from the side, I was thinking about coming in from the top. I guess it really doesn't matter because I already have access there, and it would just be just a break stealing away. Uh, this is this is rough. Uh, ventilation. We would come up through here, and I would want to connect to this pipe here, so we can. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing? Back up. There we go. We can run it up, say through here. Like so, and then we could have a gas bridge. Whoops. Gas bridge, say there. Yeah, that works. So then I could just take it and do like this, hook it up, cancel that one, and then hook it up on this end there. I cancel that. Whoop, did I push the wrong one? Yeah, I pressed plumbing. All right, so then we could just do that. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. Then all we have to do is we, we just to get power down here, which our power lines are right here. Energy, potential 960. What's this one? Potential of 900. So, may need to put this on a... I hate to put it on a... a uh, what are these things called? Power transformer. I hate to put it on it one by itself. I mean, the only way to get it down there, though, is, is to do that. So, I guess that's not an issue. So, I could put it, say, I don't know, right. Where can I put this? Probably right here. 
So that way I don't have to run this heavy watt too far. Boom, like that. And then we can just power this. Like that. That works. That works. And what I could do is to, uh, for precaution's sake, I can... Actually, it doesn't really matter. Because if it goes through the filter... Let me make sure that the pipes... This goes up, goes through here. Yeah, it goes through the filter before it goes through there. So it'll pump out any of that polluted oxygen that's down there. So that works. That works. And then all I'd have to do is when I get ready to, to, to get out of here is just to cap it off. So perfect. This is perfect. So let's ladder our way down. So that way that all gets built. And I might... I might just... Do that. That. I don't know. Maybe give it a little bit more space. Maybe do it like this. I don't know if they can reach that from that ladder. And then do the same thing over here. So that way we can fill all of this area up. And, and just get all of this nastiness. All of this nastiness out of here. What I could do is run it up one side. Uh, that's going to be rough. I think it'll be fine the way it is. Should be able to get down. No, I won't be able to get down here. So all these ladders. Let's cancel them. One by one. One by one. Should work. And then we'll have, well, hmm, this is rough. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'll put that back and then just connect these here and here so they can get in there, get this all taken care of. Technically, it's not needed, but I wanted to make it look decent. Granted, uh, I won't make them do, I won't, I won't open this up to the atmosphere because there is germs down there, lots of them. So, ooh, why? Why can't you... Up. Explain to me how that happened. I mean, you have oxygen, right? Oh, polluted. But he's, he's gonna... Do, Joshua's gonna get sick. How? Come on, guys, get get this done. So Joshua can go to bed. Come on. There we go, Joshua. Sorry about that, man. I don't I don't know how you. If you got to take a snooze, then you know go for it. But uh, I don't know how that happened. Don't know how that happened. But yeah, I got that all set up. I'll, I'll let them build the prerequisites for it first, get all of this, so that way all I gotta do is push the, the almighty 9 button, and then I'll get down here and get this done. Uh, I wanna make sure that our, our germs, our immune systems are at 100% before I do send them down there. Alright, you guys not making any food. Speaking of food, now that we've got a, a massive amounts of power... Ooh, I see some water. I need to... Um, to get up. I do want to place... Well, I think they're putting all of the, the food up here. Yeah? Yeah, I want to set these to 8. Copy settings. So that way they... They have place to put the food. Yeah, I know it's way up there, but... May make one over here because it's a lot closer. A lot closer. But all of this over here, this this is heating up to a point where all this polluted water's getting into our uh, our actual main water supply. 
Which is not very good. Not very good. But I do want to get them to, to get this done. Get all this sensor and stuff done, my friends. So that way it only runs during the night. And then I could set it up. So like, I notice how much, the, like, basically what I'm thinking about doing is with the clock sensor the way it is, maybe I'd be like, okay, from this time to this time, you know, stop. And then, like, I'll watch my batteries. And then if my bat if I notice my battery's getting low during a certain part of the day, then I'll I'll kick it back on. So it's like right now. I'll run it I'm gonna run them half a day. I'm gonna get them to run half a day. They're not even connected. It's because we're out of gas, I think. Automation, automation, automation. Is there not a... There it is. So those wires are on. Just need to get these wires down here on. That actually might work. That actually might work. Have them have them activated only 50% of the time. Because I don't want them to run all the time. And I do want all of this. Like all of my gas to, to build up. Because I'd rather have more gas than not. And see, okay, now, now it's okay. And then it will run, 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 run. Fill the batteries up. And then if I notice that the, the batteries... Are, are not filling up all the way or there's still you know a, still a, a massive amount of energy left then um like right now i just i noticed that this is so let's only have them run like say 30 percent of the time actually not even that 10 percent we don't we don't really need them our batteries are full but then again i'm i'm as long as this is retroactive and I'm able to control this for myself, then, you know, I could sit there and say, okay, we're using a lot of power because of this machine. Then I could be like, okay, we'll just bump it back up. And I'm even adding more, more generators. So that way we'll just get that burst of power and then we'll use it all. Okay, you see that, how we're doing this? So... All right, set this to 45. So like halfway through the day. There we go. And then basically we'll just watch to see when the batteries get full. And then we can judge how long it takes for the batteries to fill back up. And then we just continue to do it that way. Here I was thinking at the beginning of automation that there was nothing really to automate. This is a prime example of how to use automation. So that way you don't use too much resources or don't use too much of your gas or anything like that. Because that can be very painful. Speaking of, I need to get this working. I wonder if I could tap into this. Actually, cancel that. Like that. That might work. And then I could just loop this. So that way it never... There's not a chance for it to... Uh, there's not a chance for it to freeze. Of course, this polluted oxygen has not... Or polluted water has not froze since uh, I've gotten it. So... Actually, just let's leave it... 
at 40%. Uh, you know what? 50%. Half the day. Alright. Do it like that. See if that works. And while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and get these guys. This would be hooked there, and then this would be hooked here. Then I'll need a gas bridge here. So that way I can put gas there, 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 and there. Alright. Now, does this thing up here have power? No. I'll have to hook it up with power. This would be an opportune time to use another power transformer, though. So, power transformer, say, here? Yeah. Put a power transformer there. Lock, lock that up there. And then this could be... We'll have power going this way. And go through here. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Like that, maybe? There we go. I don't know if this, uh, this clock center is going to get in the way of it, though. But we'll find out. We'll find out. Well, it looks like that is actually pretty decent. And I, I, throughout the, the remainder of the series, I may, I may tweak it so it'd be on more and maybe off less. and Or off less and on more. Whatever. However you want to say it. But I think, I think this is going to be good. And with the automation. And I, I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. Because by the time this gets up here... Let's go 50%. So our batteries are dying. Like we still got plenty of power though, because we have tons of batteries. Uh, nighttime. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to run the risk of our batteries. Four. Whoa, we're cutting it close. Two joule, kilojoules, one kilojoule. And they kick off. Oh, that's just a little too close for my, my comfort there. Ta Oof. So that, that works. Let's go back down to 50. Actually, no. Leave it back at the 60. Leave it back at 60. I know. I can't take, I can't make up my mind. Because hopefully that's enough time to fill them back up. Yeah, I think I think that's going to be enough time. And I have that sensor down here, that wire that needs to get put up to make use of this thermo sensor. How's our water doing over here? Yeah, we got our water filled up over here. Look at that. It's all nice and cool, too. 61 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and cold water. And it's starting to radiate. As you can see here, it's starting to radiate throughout our base. I like that. I like that. All right, how's our food? Stress? Everything's fine? Okay. Uh, need to make sure our oxygen's okay. Oh, yeah. Oxygen's fine. 
sometimes when I'm in in a project uh, trying to get everything working uh, sometimes you know I, I like focus on it on one area too much and uh, I tend to forget that uh, some of these things need to keep keep going so let's get this built let's get these guys let's get these built because that's all it needs really because everything else is hooked up right uh yeah just de deconstruct those wow they just like put it to eight they're just like oh get it done get it done I may put this, or a few tiles, probably this tile, these two tiles, and then these two, yeah, let's do that. This mesh tile, need to go here and here, and this mesh tile go here and here. And then, make these mesh. Let's get these done. Because those will get kicked on. And I want them to be ready to go six five four that looks like refining it down with the clock sensor that looks like it might work because we, we get really, really low on power. And then it just... Okay, it actually kicked off that time. So... 65%. There we go. Can we mouse wheel these? No, you can't mouse wheel that. But I think with the more, the more generators that I have access to... Like, the faster the, ba the batteries will fill up. And the more I add, the more I have to tweak. So are, are the, all these getting automated? Yes. All of them are getting automated. So I may have... Now that I've added these extra four, I may need to tweak it. How's our, how's our gas? Is it getting backed up? Kinda. How you guys doing down here? You haven't even started on that? Okay. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, see, it's going to fill up the batteries a whole lot more. A lot quicker. Wait, why are you not... Oh, I forgot to, to do outputs on you. Sorry. Um... Whoops. to do get them done please I love it when they come in droves and just build stuff Okay, see, now the batteries are full, so I need to turn. So 35 now? May need to bump that back up. Say 50. Or do 40, let's do 45. But needless to say, you get the idea. Uh, so now we have, have everything automated. And it look it's looking really really good next uh, next episode I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on getting our uh, our fertilizer makers back up and running so that way we can produce uh, some more some more fertilizer and natural gas because it's free we use the we basically recycle the dirty water 
and it's free. Uh, but I will have to make a special, you know, loop, so that way if water does get into there, it doesn't break it. So anyway, thank you everybody for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any tips, tricks, or any other ideas or any concerns that you would like to to share or do or want me to want me to do as far as the base is concerned, by all means, please do leave a comment down below. But until next time, see you later.